वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम तोलमोय आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टुडे आई शुड एक्सप्लेन अ रिएक्शन व्हिच इज नेम्ड एज स्ट्रेडर क्लार्क मिथाइल रिएक्शन दिस इज अ स्ट्रेटजी टू प्रिपेयर अ टर्शियरी एमीन फ्रॉम अ प्राइमरी एमीन एक्चुअली मोर स्पेसिफिकली इफ वी से दिस डाई मिथाइल कंटेनिंग एमीन एमीन हैविंग वन एल्किल ग्रुप एंड टू आर मिथाइल यूजिंग the reductive alkylation strategy using formic formaldehyde and formic acid okay so let's disc let's start so this reaction actually developed by scientists Schroeder and Clark so based on their name this is called as Schroeder Clark methylation what happens you see this is a amine and this is a aldehyde what happens we know when amine plus aldehyde reacts they produce a sieve base Via the elimination of water, and here this is a formic acid which can act as a acid because this formic acid you can consider like acetic acid which produces H plus plus this formic minus, and this is stronger than acetic acid pK around three point seven. So this is more stronger than. Acetic acid. So what happens? This formic acid protonates. Which side they will protonate? Aldehyde. Or uh, this aldehyde, uh, aldehyde or I mean, it will protonate the aldehyde part. Okay. So it produces this protonated formaldehyde. Okay. And how protonation happens? Because this oxygen has two lone pair, which can act as a base for this protonation reaction, and the positive charge remain on the oxygen. and it has a resonance structure like oh plus and h so this is the reason of the electrophilicity improvement after the addition of acid so here positive charge so what happened this nitrogen attacks here means more this okay so this goes up and what produces R in H, H, CH two, and OH. Okay, fine. So right now you can see that after attack this became positive charge. So this proton could easily be abstracted by base, and here which can act as a base, other amines or even even this. Another molecule of formaldehyde can act as a base, and it will take proton. So what it will produce? It will produce this NH and CH two OH. Okay, fine. Now there is acid presence. This this formic acid is present in the medium, and it is sufficiently acidic, so it will protonate this OH. So CH two OH and its proton it will be plus with this NH. Now you can you can have a question when amine is present, nitrogen lone pair versus oxygen lone pair, which is more basic? Logically, oxygen lone pair is more basic. Uh, sorry, nitrogen lone pair is more basic. So protonation should happen here. Definitely, it happens here. So if protonation happens here, then it will produce this thing directly. And actually, this reaction is reversible reaction. Okay. So what happens? Here there will be protonation, but that will not have any effect. Maybe contribution of protonated species from this center is less, but it will have a stepwise reaction. That is the main reason for this uh, reaction. So right now it will leave. So if because the leaving group is a water molecule, so water is a good leaving group neutral. So it will leave. So ultimately what will be produced? This will produce. This and CH two, okay. So, okay, CH two plus, and it is a carbocation. It is you know, having a vacant pure metal spirit hybridized. Then this lone pair will will for will donate it to this, and ultimately this uh, thing will result a double bond formation. And this material, this thing is called aluminium. Ion, okay. So this is aluminium. Com, yeah. So 
sorry, positive charge should not be on carbon, positive charge should be on nitrogen. And if you compare this, this iminium versus this formaldehyde itself, this is more electron deficient. So this is more electrophilic than this because than this aldehyde because due to the presence of this positive charge. And if a nucleophile attacks to be neutral molecule, that will be more stable. Okay. So what happens? This iminium ion further reacts with formate, formate anion. Actually, you guess you should say formate. This is the formate which is produced by this protonation. So this formate ion decomposes and produces this hydride which attacks here. When this hydride attacks here, ultimately what is if it reacts? It will come here. So ultimate product is RNH. CH3 and this produces carbon dioxide and this is the driving force. This elimination of CO2 is the driving force for this reaction because it's gas, it will go out and this produces hydride which acts as a reducing agent. So actually here the role of formic acid, first one is acid and second one reducing agent okay and in case of what is the role of formaldehyde this is the supplier of carbon supplier of carbon atom okay so this is the role so formic acid as an acid and reducing agent, this is the carbon. So this carbon we are considering is actually coming from this formaldehyde. Keep it in mind. So this much is done. So if we consider this amine right now, com consider or compare this with this one. This is a primary amine and this is a secondary amine. So, so this can also undergo reaction and these secondary amines are more efficient for this uh, nucleophilic attack. How? Because it has a lone pair. Another thing it is attached to two car carbon atom which can due to electronegativity difference this will push electron here, this will push electron here. So what will be the product? If it reacts similarly with formaldehyde in presence of formic acid. <coughs> I am not going details, just some time before I have explained. So what will be produced? It will produce this R N H C H 3 again here will be O H H and H. Okay, fine. This is a cationic species because nitrogen attacks. Then this lone pair will this proton will be abstracted to produce this nitrogen. Similarly, this center will undergo protonation to produce this and after protonation it will leave like similarly. So if it leaves, it will produce RnCH3 CH2 plus and nitrogen has a lone pair. So like previous, it will produce Okay, and this will similarly by reacting with formic acid. This is a plus charge. So attack, and in this way, what will be the product? The product is R in CH3 CH3. So this is our final product. So in this way. This whole estuarine craft methylation happens. So this is a so this is a strategy to prepare a tri uh, tertiary means three degree amine where specifically two methyl group is attached. So today we have learned this uh, process and we have learned another thing that formic acid acts as an acid as well as reducing agent because formic acid undergo decomposition to produce carbon dioxide and hydride and that hydride as acting as a reducing agent.
so if you like my teaching i request you to give a like and subscribe my channel chemistry and history of molecules and share this video among your friend such that many people could get benefit from my effort and finally please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload so see you in my next video bye